All right, Mr. Telefero TV, how's everybody doing out there? I'm gonna be honest with you, this is straight comedy. There's nothing serious about this video, but if you need a laugh today, I'm gonna give you one. All right, so in the midst of Nicki Minaj and Safari beefing online yesterday, Nicki Minaj revealed that she wished she never would have paid for Safari's hairline back in the day. She said, I should have never paid for that goddamn hairline. It fell back out because God don't like ugly. You used me, but God had other plans. Tiger shit ain't fall back out. Y'all went to the same doctor. Yours fell out because God don't like ugly. I didn't even know this was a thing, but apparently, all right, let's put, hold on, let's put this on the screen. Oh, <laughs> oh my goodness. I had no clue that Safari had went overseas and got a new hairline. New hairline on the screen, all right? So, Safari actually in good spirits after Nicki Minaj pretty much clowned him online. He actually was in good spirits and tweeted out this morning while everybody else is having a field day clowning him. He's like, yo, wow, woke up to a book deal offer for over 500K and an endorsement deal for a hair club for men. And that was the first offer. Thank you, baby. Guess I'm gonna add author to my long list of hustles. So Safari's claiming that he made over 30,000 yesterday and he got a book deal, an offer for 500K, all because Nicki Minaj exposed the fact that he had a fake hairline. Now other people like chiming in and please Pharaohs, I want y'all to chime in shortly. You got 50 Cent posting a picture of Safari's hairline saying, ha ha ha, what the fuck is really going on here? get the strap i seen funk flex and kid ink cracking up laughing in the comment section yo i'm gonna be honest with y'all i i have no i don't really have an answer on if i would do that i'm only 24 my hairline's intact but i guess i gotta ask y'all this question real quick yo fellas out there if things hit the fan or if things have already hit the fan for you in regards to where your hairline is at, if you own your LeBron James, right? If you could pay 10 bands for a new hairline, which allegedly that's what Safari paid for this hairline, would you do it? Would you pay 10 bands if he could get you? Because Safari hairline, I mean, it's pretty decent. I'm just tripping at the fact that you got a nigga with a spray. Y'all, y'all, we all fellas, we didn't all got black spray before at the barbershop. But the fact that there's a nigga going around with some permanent black spray on his head is hilarious to me. Yo, if you if you had 10k to spare and you could pay for a new hairline and you come out fairly decent like Safaris, would you do it? Y'all gotta talk to me in the comment box below. And ladies, y'all can add, chime in on this one too. Would you would you ride with your man if he had to go get a new hairline for 10 bands? And it looked like what the forest looked like, y'all. Man, this is, man, yo, 2018, what an era. We are in the era of social media, man. It's, you can't make some of this entertainment up. What y'all think? Y'all talk to me in the comment box below. Thank y'all for the time, love, support. I don't take it for granted. Salute. Amen. I came from nothing, but I want everything God has for me. I interview celebrities. I talk sports. I still represent the culture. I got the kids, they who are now tuned in. Tuned in. Yo, we locked in right now, Mr. Telefair. Mr. Telefair. Mr. Telefair. Mr. Telefair. Shout out to Mr. Telefair. You're watching Mr. Telefair TV. Mr. Telefair TV. Here with the triple B's. You can't do nothing but win.